Good afternoon and welcome to Dublin Arts Council's Community Time Capsule Ceremony. I'm Dublin Arts Council Executive Director David Guillaume. I'd like to extend a very special welcome beyond our small in-person gathering to those of you tuning in live stream via Facebook, especially to the students and teachers at Dublin City Schools who have, so, who have been so instrumental in creating this project. I also welcome our partners in person, including Dublin City School members, Dublin City Council, uh, John Reiner, uh, Dana McDaniel and his staff, uh, Doug Baker with Dublin City Schools, and the artist joining us, harpist Lily McBride, thank you, Lily, and Ohio Poet, Poet Laureate, Dr. Amit Majmadar. I think our ent entire community can agree that 2020 and 2021 have been extraordinary. We recognize the many challenges presented by the pandemic and celebrate the creativity that has flourished. It has been our honor as an organization to support and engage with so many of many of you who live, work, visit, play, and learn in Dublin. We know historians will document the global pandemic, but it is the individual experiences that provide a deeply personal account of what it is like to shelter in place, wear masks, incessantly wash our hands, work remotely, and practice physical distancing. Over the past few months, Dublin Arts Council staff has been working with members of the community to gather evidence of these experiences. Participants have included their drawings, photographs, artwork, poetry, and writings to place in the capsules that, we'll, that we will bury today at Dublin Arts Council. The capsules will be unearthed in 2033, recognizing Dublin Arts Council's 50th anniversary as an organization. So whether we look back 12 months in time or look forward 12 years, the moments that we capture today are vital. In the words of Charles Schultz's Charlie Brown's Little Book of Wisdom, Learn from yesterday, live for today, look to tomorrow, and rest this afternoon. Dr. Amit Majnamar is a novelist, poet, essayist, and diagnostic nuclear radiologist. Ohio Governor John Kasich appointed Dr. Majnamar as the state of Ohio's first poet laureate in December of 2015, effective for a two-year period encompassing 2016 and 2017. The Ohio Poet Laureate has the opportunity to foster the art of poetry, encourage literacy and learning, address central issues relating to the humanities and heritage, and encourage the reading and writing of poetry across the state. At the time of his appointment, Dr. Majumar was a Dublin resident. He wrote the poem, Dublin Rhapsody, Smarter Together, and delivered it during Dublin's 2017 State of the City Address. His most recent collection of poems is titled, What He Did in Solitary. Please help me welcome Dr. Majdamar. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, um, everyone, for having me out here for this wonderful and meaningful ceremony uh, that hopefully will you know, mark the end of something uh, not so good and the beginning of something better. Um, so this is that poem that I wrote that uh, he so kindly mentioned. It's uh, call it Dublin Rhapsody. It's about this city, the city where I lived, the city um, where I spent, you know, the first few years of my life as a father um, and as as a radiologist, as he mentioned. Um, and it goes like this: <clears throat> America. I cannot hold it as one body in my arms, and so I hold it as one thought in my mind. It's north and it's south, one word in my mouth, America. To know a land with all its flaws and faces, you have to know exactly where your place is. And for me and mine, that place is my city, where even the parkways are emerald. My town and my country, my Kansas and Oz, my name and my voice, my inspired Scioto, my James and my Joyce, the hard road I travel by choice, my shire, my rings, my tis of thee I sing, my choir, my psalm, my shelter and shalom, my Ireland, my India, my Dublin, 
my home. Who am I? I am one of everyone. I buried the settlers whose cemeteries out behind the library. And before the first of those pioneer graves, I was the Wyandotte sprinter fleet of foot who gave his name to the woods, to Indian run. My ghost come out to bake a little in the brittle May sun. I felt I was a Dubliner long before I arrived here, before I brought my twin toddlers and wife here and told her, love, what say we raise our boys here? Welcome our newborn daughter, play and pray and rejoice here in Dublin, where look, the fire hydrants are green. In Dublin, from now on, our city, our future's opening scene. And living here, we'll have a share in its life, its spark. We'll hike and bike its hundred miles of paths and watch our boys play soccer in its parks. Bal Griffin, Avery, Emerald Fields, and Royal Plume, and Kaufman, and often in the summer, we'll gallivant to the Ballantrae Fountains and dance with the rabbits on the hill. We move there. We splash there still. We watch her laugh and grow, our daughter born at Dublin Methodist just seven Julys ago. So that's the Dublin that I introduced to you. And if you know this place at all, I would bet my praise is hardly news to you. But let it be said again. In all the voices, accents, tongues, and tones that call this city home. Students and senior citizens, parents with strollers and sidewalk joggers, everyone better and better, everyone smarter together. Entrepreneurs and retirees, teachers and cops, and doctors writing poetry. Everyone you see living their lives, making a living in this perimeter of joy, ringed by Glick, Saw Mill, and Highland Croy. The best of cities and the best of states and the best of nations. Our creativity and our creation. This city whose power is how it empowers this gift of a city, this Dublin of ours. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Majmadar. It's a tough act to follow. <laughs> The city of Dublin is more than just a municipality. It's a place where families make memories, where businesses thrive and creativity flourishes. We are so fortunate to be part of a community whose leaders value the arts and support us in so many ways. Please help me welcome my dear friend, Dublin City Council member and Dublin Arts Council board member, John Reiner. So good afternoon. I'm pleased to be here today as a Dublin City Council representative for the Dublin Arts Council. I want to thank the Dublin Arts Council for hosting this event that will preserve the history of what only can be described as an extraordinary time. Just like we wondered what it might have been like to live during the 1918 influenza pandemic, future generations will be interested to know what happened in 220 when the world shut down. This time capsule will preserve that history and share personal stories from the people of the city of Dublin. Some of my favorite memories during the pandemic will be the Plant Kindness Rock Garden, which certainly brightened our city with vivid colors and messages of hope. And of course, the curbside concerts, which was one of my highlights this year. I hope the students all joining us today will remember this day and how their artistic talents and message of hope helped us all through this particular time. And I trust that you will carry that forward and share it with future generations. I thank you very much. Thank you, John. Dublin City Schools work with students living in a 47 square mile radius, including parts of Dublin, Columbus, Hilliard, Upper Arlington, Franklin County, Delaware County and Union County. The district, the 10th largest in the state, is one of Ohio's highest achieving districts. Please welcome Dublin City Schools Public Information Officer, Doug Baker. Thank you, David. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm, I'm proud to represent the students and staff of Dublin City Schools today. I'd like to thank the Dublin Arts Council um, for their efforts in this time capsule project. 
Um, the Dublin Arts Council has always supported art education for our kids and for our teachers and we're very appreciative. As we all know, the past 14 or so months have not been normal for Dublin City Schools. This community, our students, our staff, our parents have been incredibly resilient and incredibly adaptable uh, and we're very proud and thankful for that. We all hope we're moving toward a more normal school year next year. Um, that remains to be seen, of course, but that is our hope and our goal. Part of the narrative when this time capsule is opened, part of the narrative of this time will be the pandemic, of course, and the challenges that it presented, but it won't be the whole narrative. In fact, the narrative of our students of this community will be our perseverance, our tenacity, and our dedication to continuing teaching and learning. And I wanna thank all of the students and staff who've had their eyes focused on that, and all the students and staff who have participated in this time capsule project. And I just would like to close with a shout out to the class of 2021. Of all the students in our district, they might have had this, this moment in time be the toughest on them. As the pandemic hit at the end of their junior year, they lost their spring, they lost their athletics, they lost their proms, they lost time with their friends, maybe most importantly. And so I wanna thank the class of 2021 and their parents, um, their teachers, we're, we're thrilled we're able to honor them with an in-person graduation at the Schottenstein Center on Memorial Day weekend. We're very excited about that. Uh, and so thank you to all those folks involved with the class of 2021. And finally, I'd like to thank the City of Dublin and the Dublin Arts Council for their partnership over the years. Um, all the students and staff of the district really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Lily Bloom is a local harpist and singer. She was chosen as the 2020 local favorite in National Public Radio's Tiny Desk Concert Contest. We appreciate her accompaniment as we invite our ceremony participants to place a capsule into the ground and add a shovel of dirt. Lily? <laughs> Thank you, Lily. And to all of you who have made this such a meaningful occasion, we thank you for placing evidence of your pandemic experiences into these capsules to be opened a dozen years as we celebrate Dublin Arts Council's 50th anniversary. Dublin Arts Council engages the community, cultivates creativity, and fosters lifelong learning in the arts. Thank you for attending both in person and virtually. Please have an inspiring afternoon and a great weekend. Thank you.